Day 84. So today's been a standard day. I've been slightly closer to neutral than I was yesterday on the negative side of things. And coming to a general realization that I wouldn't want to necessarily live in the positives all the time anyway. And actually the transitions from positive to negative and happiness to sadness and the movement on that kind of spectrum are the things that define the really brilliant moments in my life. And particularly now that the spectrum that I live on is no longer so far into the negative, it's more balanced around the neutrality point of view. It's just a kind of standard fact of life that, yeah, there'll be days when I'm just in a happy mood without any sort of cause for the happiness. Equally, I should then have days where I'm on the opposite side of that coin, where I'm just feeling a bit down without any sort of reason. And the difference in the last couple of days where I've just felt a bit down, compared with historically when I would have felt down a lot of the time, is that I've managed to find things that will bring my mood back up again and manage to make myself happier. And that's not for once as a distraction, because I don't know exactly what it is I need to distract myself from. It's just having developed a better understanding of the things that are important to me and that I'm passionate about, when I can do them and do them well, it brings me joy and fulfillment and happiness. But as I say, I don't expect nor want to live in happiness all the time because that's never gonna seem rewarding or fulfilling and never really gonna bring any meaning, it's the balance of the two. And I guess now because those emotions aren't so extreme on whichever side of zero they are, they're not quite so binding and all-encompassing, but then also when you move away from them, they're not so erratic. So it's all feeling like a generally better place to be. And looking forward to the next few days, so share, subscribe, and I'll see you tomorrow.